Hi guys, I'm out here today to talk about one of my favourite new product launches from Savage Gear and some of the great accessories that accompany it. Now, those of you that know me know I'm a big fan of fishing with creature baits. Whether the water has crayfish or not, creature baits often put some good fish on the bank for me, whether it be big perch or decent pike. I'm always chucking the creature bait on from time to time. And one of my favorite catches that has caught me a lot of decent fish over the years was the original Savage Gear Reaction Crayfish. Now this was a great lure, had a really realistic profile, an actual scan of a crayfish and great flapping claws. I was really gutted when we discontinued it, but fortunately we bought it back and we've made it even better and that's the Reaction Crayfish V2. Now this improvement has a much more slimmer profile, a great kicking and wobbling action as you bring it back, those claws really move and they've already been catching me quite a few fish and I've taken a few clips from recent sessions to roll in this today. Jeez, this is a good fish. Oh, mate. <laughs> nice perch. Yeah. This year, we've gone all out on bringing you a comprehensive range of perch lures. That includes four different creature bait patterns. We have the reaction crayfish, of course, which is our swimming, moving bait. We have the 3D rattling crayfish, which is more of a subtle, slow presentation, perfect for um, Ned rigging and drop shotting. And we have our Duratech Ned crayfish, which is buoyant, it will stand bolt upright. And finally, the 4D cray, which is like a bigger version of the Ned cray, but made out of a regular plastic. And that one's great for trying to sort out bigger fish. We have some amazing kits to cover you for your soft plastics fishing and these pair up absolutely fantastically with the Reaction Crayfish. We've got a Texas and Carolina rig kit which features steel sinkers with magnetic and glass beads. And these are fantastic for weedless rigging on the Texas and Carolina rig of course which is, is suitable for all kinds of scenarios especially fishing over weed and structure. Then we have the Cheb Rig kits and I really love this kit because it actually comes with tungsten Chebs and tungsten's a lot more dense than other materials which means it sinks quicker for its weight and you feel a lot more for it. These tungsten Chebs are absolutely great when you're fishing in flow because I can use a 5 gram tungsten where I'd use a 7 gram weight usually and this really helps with bite detection from wary perch. And one of my favourite kits, and I love this because I'm a big fan of the jicker rig and the way it kicks up the bottom and presents a lure, is a specialist lure sinker kit. Now, this lure specialist sinker kit is a favourite of mine. It comes with weights from 5 grams to 13 grams, which are going to cover you for all kinds of fishing scenarios. Now, you can use that with a jicker rig or to weight pike lures or anything else but it's so easy to rig. All you do is you slide your hook on, followed by the weight and close the clip and you've got an instant jigger rig ready to fish with. Fishing with creature baits and crayfish, I'm bumping the bottom most of the time. I like to let the lure sink right down to the deck and pulse it, pop, pop, pause, pop, 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 pause. And I get that kind of erratic action that 
imitates a scurrying crayfish trying to flee from its um, predators and that really triggers the fish to take. Sometimes working them with a constant motion can be really good drag in the bottom or even working them up in the water a little bit. It's um, all dependent on what mood the fish are in, so you play around with retrieves, but most of the time I find fishing a few bounces either low to the bottom or a little bit more aggressively accompanied by a nice long pause will cause the fish to bite. And you can see this, this fish <laughs> absolutely nailed it on the pause. Well, back he goes. <laughs> Sometimes when fish are in a really, really finicky mood, they can be quite hard to move out from cover and to trigger takes from. And on this day, it was just like that. We could see fish feeding inside the cover in the bushes, and it was just too dense and too thick to pitch lures into. So I had the idea that I would rig up a reaction cray on one of the new V2 Crazy Blade jig heads. I absolutely love the Crazy Blades, but the previous ones were a little bit on the heavy side for my fishing. Now with this V2 version, we've got the perfect finesse chatter baits. Five, seven, and nine grams. Perfect for creature baits and shads, even curl tails. And you can cast those in, and I like to fish them like I would any other jig. Let them drop to the deck, and them and you get that erratic flash and vibration as you move the lure and that can really trigger dormant fish to strike or feeding fish to leave the cover and that's exactly what happened here. There we go. Crazy Blade Jig Head, 9 grams with a Reaction Cray V2 trailer. Perfect when the fish are really holding tight in cover like that. Just mixing it up and adding a little bit of extra flash can really draw them out and buy you an extra take or two. So I hope you've enjoyed my lowdown on creature bait fishing and of course my favourite pattern of creature baits. If you haven't yet, get yourself a packet of V2 Reaction Crayfish and give them a go because they've certainly worked a treat for me this winter so far.